Greetings everyone, it is November 10th, 2013, and this is Bats Picks number 11. A show where you get to tune in and find out some of the more interesting Go games that occurred this week, so you are more able to peruse them at your own leisure. That way you don't have to go through the entire list of everything that came out this week, and do so on your own, because that can take a lot of time. Our first game for this week is between these two Chinese players, and I have to say, this is a really fun one to go over. Uh, it's a close game. I think one player wins by something like 2.5. And you would never really think that, judging from how the game actually progressed. I mean, it progressed with one side seemingly having this like huge lead, uh, great position, and the other side has this great position. And you kind of have this weird little back and forth where you expect this guy to win by a massive margin and then that guy to win by a massive margin. But they both ma uh, managed to successfully reduce each other to this really, really close ending, which I think you guys will all enjoy. Which brings us to game number two between these two lovely players. And I confess, many of you already know, one of the reasons why I picked this game over here is simply because it's Yi Seidol. I mean, how could Yi Seidol play and not wind up on one of my picks. It's not possible. Not possible. Had to happen. But the game is rather interesting. Not as close as our first game, obviously. Uh, Isil's games tend not to be. Usually when he winds up playing, someone's going to generally wind up dead. Either him, his opponent, who cares? Someone's dead. And in this one, I think it was the third match. I think it was the third match of a title series, now that I think about it making it more interesting. But if you are a Yisidol fan, then you're probably going to like this game. If you are interested in fighting, you're probably going to like this game. If you want something nice and simple that you can study, you might want to go elsewhere. Maybe the previous game. Maybe the previous game. That one probably works for you. But yeah, Yisidol, lovely fighter, Korean, very strong player. If you're looking for something like that, check him out. And last but not least, another Korean game which many of you will recognize, assuming that you are awesome people and you attend my lectures. You might remember it was a game that I picked merely for entertainment. I was wanting to be entertained, and for me that usually means lots of fighting, lots of things uh, having to run around, and eventually lots of dying. That's pretty entertaining. That's pretty entertaining for me. If you have not gone over this game yet, well, that's why I picked it, to make sure that you do, because this is a really, really great game if you want to learn direction of play as well as fighting because there's a lot of things that you find teachers constantly repeating during our advice. Uh, for example, two-week groups. Two-week groups, very, very, very bad to have running around on a board at once. This is a nice game of spot the weak groups. Another thing is interesting decisions that uh, Black has made in terms of how he's going to defend himself in order to take advantage of all these weak groups. Is he going to go crazy and leave weakness behind in his own position? Is he going to play nice and strong? I mean, how does he take advantage of the fact that there's so much going on on the board at once? Definitely a lot to learn from there as well. But overall, if you have not downloaded this game for your own study, I would admit, I would highly suggest doing so. Uh, if you haven't heard of this game at all, well, now you have. So you can review it this week. There's lots to go over in it. I'm sure that everyone will find a little something in there for themselves to improve their own play, or maybe reinforce some of those areas that you weren't doing quite so well on. And last but not least, I wanted to leave you guys off with a nice, simple game. A game between these two players that I've gone over many, 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 many times. Why so many? Because this is a game that I periodically go over from time to time since 2003. This is a pretty old game for a lot of you guys. And like I mentioned, it's a pretty simple one as well. Uh, you can see here on the board, it looks like a framework versus a framework game. If you are very, very clever, you can look at this board right now and you know exactly what happened on the uh, right side of it. You can even, if you know uh, proper Jiseki, you know the sequence of events which occur currently in uh, both corners. Bot the, uh, both the bottom left as well as the bottom right. But from there, things take a turn. You'll be a little bit surprised at some of Kangji's decisions in this game. You'll probably wonder to yourself, well, how on earth is he able to use the thing that he just created? I mean, he just played away from it. Surely, surely these moves are weird and no one understands them and I'll never be able to figure out 
what the purpose there was, but this game is pretty well uh, done in its explanations. In that, from the next sequence of events, you're going to be able to see exactly what the purpose of, let's say, that thing was. Try not to give away here. So maybe you can try to using some of the things on your own games. But yes, when I need to look at how a framework can be reduced nice and simply, how you can use that for other purposes, this is usually a game that I've been coming back to repeatedly over and over and over again since 2003. So I think I'd like to share this game with you guys. I'm sure you'll find it just as interesting, and you might wind up going over it just as many times as I have. I hope you all enjoy it. And that wraps up Bat's Picks for this week. We will, of course, be back next week showing you even more games that have been played throughout the week, and if I find none quite suitable, then we will, of course, bring you another one from uh, my little pack of ones that I usually wind up studying. Until then, I hope you guys all keep studying Go, keep all enjoying Go, and remember, as always, to keep playing Go, especially if you find a game uh, from one week to the next that you really, really, really enjoy. Take something out of that and immediately try to apply it in your own games. See how it works. Maybe it succeeds, maybe it doesn't. But putting forth that effort will greatly reward you. So until next time, I will see you all later.